killed the lock. Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. That's one. That's one. One. Two one out of three. Nah, two out of three, hold on. Yeah, yeah. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Okay. Let's get it. Come on, baby. Team off the cuff, coach. I'm telling you. We're going to win the coin toss and everything. Let it follow us. Y'all go ahead and uh, do what y'all got to do. We're ready, bro. Yep. We're we waiting right. on y'all. Hey, we, oh, we got the first pick. Oh, sorry. You write that down? Off the cuff, truly. Absolutely. There you go. Write it, coach. You know what? You're putting it on me? Oh, coach. Who else? You right, you right. I see I see you spying, coach. I can hear you on high spot. With the first pick in the SHS football coaches mock draft, team off the cuff selects Jaden Daniels, QB LSU. So off the cuff with the number one overall pick, they're going to take Jaden Daniels, a quarterback out of LSU. Jaden Daniels, six foot four, two hundred ten pounds. He's had five seasons of starting experience uh, at LSU and Arizona State. He has he has the running talent to scramble and make plays in the open field. Questionable first pick here. Probably would have taken Caleb Williams, but yeah, Jaden Daniels, good pick. Yeah. So of course you're going to play the, the Mason to make sure. Oh yeah, and he's going to pick him uh, because he went to LSU. Hey. Yep. Okay. That that. That just shows. Coach Proust in the pudding, oh, you know. That's fine. We'll, we'll see who you pick. Yep, yep appreciate it. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all no. doing that. Nope. With the second pick and the football coach's mock draft, team buttoned up selects Brock Bowers. Tied in UGA. So Coach Garinger and Coach Black team buttoned up. They take a tight end, Brock Bowers, out of Georgia, listed at six foot three, two hundred forty-three pounds, ran a four-four eight forty, had six reception touchdowns and seven hundred fourteen reception yards. You get one tight end. So perfect strategy here for buttoned up and a great first pick. Yeah. So obviously, since you only have one of those guys, and he is the absolute best tight end Love since that. Rob Gronkowski. We don't have to. No. Team off the cuff, uh, picks in. With the third pick in the NFL coaches mock draft, team off the cuff selects Blake Corum, running back, Michigan. So with the third overall pick, team off the cuff takes Blake Corum. You know, another questionable pick here. They could have had Caleb Williams and Jaden Daniels. They pick a dude out of Michigan, a national champion, listed at five foot eight, two hundred five pounds, had a thousand one hundred eleven rushing yards, leads Michigan history in pretty much all of the rushing records. But you know, another questionable pick here. Probably would have went with Caleb Williams here. So Caleb Williams, Roma Dunze, all the wide receivers are still on the board. Oh, perfect. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Go ahead. Wait, no comment. Great back, but no comment. Now we thank you for this. We okay. appreciate this. Okay. You have played directly into our hands. Coach, we are a team off the cuff. Yep. Truly. We can tell. Truly. With the fourth pick and the football coach's mock draft, team buttoned up selects Caleb Williams, QB, USC. For the fourth overall selection in the draft, team buttoned up takes quarterback Caleb Williams out of USC. He had 30 touchdowns this season, six foot one, 215 pounds, had a 68.6% .6 completion percentage, and he also threw five interceptions. Uh, Williams in his sophomore year won the Heisman Trophy. He's a baller. He's a ball player. With the fourth pick, I thought he was going number one. A lot of people also thought he was going number one. He was picked fourth. So now it's Marvin Harrison. No receiver has been taken yet. Uh, a tight end has been taken. One running back has been taken. No linemen, no, no defensive players. Straight quarterbacks, running backs have been taken. Okay, so we now have the Ooh. best quarterback mm. and oh the best gosh. tight end. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Coach. Coach. Back to uh, yeah. Mm. yeah. yeah. We're building this team based all. on, you know, the culture that off our team. Off the cuff, you, you right? Off right, that. right, right. You're building this team off the cuff. Can we restart so they can? No, no, no. Coach, coach, coach I have full confidence in this, with in this coach, football team. Let's and restart. Hey. The fifth pick in the football coaches mock draft, team off the cuff selects Bo Nix, quarterback, Oregon. 
Bo Nix out of Oregon, six foot two, 214 pounds. He has good pre-snap recognition. Uh, the ball comes out of his hand with good pace without much effort. And, uh, you know, he's going to become an average starter within uh, two years in the NFL. Yep, okay, yes, sir. Show it right there. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. At the list. When bit. team off the cuff comes out victorious, coach, all we're going to say is, hey, in better, not, yeah. better luck next year. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. With the sixth pick in the football coach mock draft, team button up selects Marvin Harrison Jr., wide receiver, Ohio State. So with the sixth overall pick, team button up takes Marvin Harrison Jr., a wide receiver out of Ohio State. Marvin Harrison, he had averaged 100 yards a game. He won the Boletnikoff Award over Malik Neighbors and Roma Dunze, probably the best receiver in the draft. Moving on, next pick, team off the cuff. Go ahead and add oh, yeah. Yeah. So His one. name is going to get him picked high, you know. He was single-handedly beating Georgia. Coach Malik Neighbors, the numbers. Yeah, let's go ahead and just lock that in. Yeah, Ball. Go, go ahead. Go for it. Heisman. Yep. yep. Hey, winner. With the seventh pick in the football coach's mock draft, team off the cuff selects Malik Neighbors, wide receiver, LSU. First receiver taken by off the cuff. It's Malik Neighbors, receiver out of LSU. Six foot, 200 pounds, ran a 4'4", 40. You know, he can glide past defenders or push them into retreat mode for easy stop routes. He catches all frame balls with strong, sudden hands. Uh, you know, not just because he went to LSU and they both go to LSU, but my NFL comparison is Justin Jefferson. Uh, also, Malik Neighbors broke the LSU record for most reception yards with 3,003. I like his frame more than that. Um, yeah. Andy's fast. Or no, we can, or we can go with you. here because you you got, you know, like that's what I'm saying. Coach, uh, y'all are on the clock. Right? It is y'all's pick. What did you say? Yeah, y'all are on the clock. We know. Oh, okay, uh, I'm just making sure. <laughs> with the eighth pick and the football coach's mock draft, team buttoned up selects Dallas Turner, linebacker, Alabama. With the eighth overall pick, the team button up takes Dallas Turner, a linebacker out of Alabama. In my opinion, I'm an LSU fan. I don't like Dallas Turner because of what he did to Jaden Daniels. Uh, so we're moving on. Next pick, next pick, team off the cuff. So by the way, Dallas Turner is 6'3", 247, ran a 446, <laughs> and now Jaden Daniels is 6'4", 210, ran a 45. So the guy that's 247, when he comes around the edge, like just so you know, like that guy's 210. So we now have the number one like edge guy basically. Is this we have the number one this, quarterback? Much weight we have the number that? one tight end and we have the number one receiver. Coach, it's all as you know. As far as far as stat tracking, no. yeah. there's no way they're going him. Coach, there may be a way. You never know. What that is true. With how y'all pick, we are team. Yeah, that is true. We are team off the call. With the ninth pick and the football coaches mock draft. Team off the cuff selects Terry and Arnold, cornerback, Alabama. So the first cornerback taken by off the cuff, Terron Arnold out of Alabama. Terron Arnold, six foot, 189 pounds, ran a 4-5-40 with five interceptions, 63 tackles. Now Terron Arnold playing on the other side of Kool-Aid McKinstry. In my opinion, Kool-Aid McKinstry is overrated. Uh, he plays because of his name. So good corner pick, Terron Arnold out of Alabama. Okay. Cool. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Hey. I mean, sure. that's okay. Y'all yeah. y'all build from the back to the front, which is completely backwards with what the hey. build is, is from Coach, it's, inside you know, out. But that's okay. That's, that's, the that's exact not a bad thing. Did I you would... know he got benched? Who? Terry and Arnold. He got benched. Yeah, well, Coach, Saban. he's bouncing back. With the 10th pick and the football coach's mock draft, Team button up, so looks Latu Latu, D line, UCLA. Tenth overall pick, it's Latu Latu, a D lineman out of UCLA uh, from Team Button Up. First D lineman taken from Team Button Up. Good pick here, Latu Latu. Uh huh. Yep. Uh, That's just what we expected, Coach. Yeah, you expected us to draft the football player. Sorry. Yeah. He was. He literally had a condition to where he was not supposed to play ever again. And loves the game so much, left, got a second opinion, and came back to be an absolute star at UCLA. All those things don't help him when you, you know, 
in and the CPSB. In the CPSB. Four five. He runs a four six. TV room. So oh I plead my case or our case for this, mm -hmm. and then we go there. Oh my goodness. So we got the next two. Yeah, I like it. I'm okay. so excited to hear this pick by y'all. Like to see like what y'all did. And yeah. Before I rush to judgment. I think they're doing a really good job. I, I, yep. That needs to be said, right? Like I think y'all are trying really hard. You know. With the 11th pick in the ball coaches mock draft, team off the cuff selects Jaden Hicks, safety, Washington State. So next pick, Jaden Hicks out of Washington State, six foot three, two hundred twelve pounds. Ran a 4.640, had 76 tackles with two interceptions. So he led the country in tackles at the safety position. Nice sneaky pick here by Off the Cuff. Come on, baby. Who? Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. See? You know what I'm saying, Cuff? Oh, my goodness, y'all. That's, that's, the, that's the way to go, okay? That's even worse. There's a, there's a plan here that y'all they just can't see it yet, Coach. You know what I'm saying? They can't see anything. They don't see the vision. They're not, yeah, they don't see the vision. Anyone that ever says that has no idea what they're doing. Well, you know, hey. He's got to rather be blind. We, <laughs> tell you what, we are a team off the cuff, so. With the 12th pick in the football coach's mock draft, team buttoned up, so looks Jared Verse, D-line, Florida State. So it's back-to-back -back D lineman picks for Team Button Up. They take Jared Verse, a D lineman out of Florida State, versus stats. He had a total of 41 tackles this season, 23 solos, 18 assisted tackles. He actually had two pass deflections this season, so that's that's crazy. Had nine sacks and one forced fumble. Back-to-back -back D lineman picks, so D line is done for Team Buttoned Up. So, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. They, you know. So we're glad y'all burnt safety too, by the way. So. Now we know that we can pick the number one safety, a uh, safety that also had some coverage stuff with. Uh, Coach, I'm glad you're feeling good right now. That, that, you know, <laughs> good. That's, that's, that's a good, good thing. Is, uh, very. All right, we, we got our next one. Yep. With a 13th pick in the football coaches mock draft, team off the cuff selects J.C. Latham, O-line, Alabama. So the first old lineman taken by off the cuff, it's J.C. Latham, a six foot six guard out of Alabama, 342 pounds, and he ran a 4.8540. That's huge. A quick offensive lineman in J.C. Latham, off the board and on to on the off the cuffs team. Come on, baby. SEC number one, mm -hmm. actual football being played, right in that conference. And then, I mean, he's 350 pounds and he's running a 4.8. Literally the structure of our, of our of our pick teams. Don't listen to that, coach. Don't, yeah. don't even pay it, pay it no a mind. The structure of this team or wow. is That's reflective of our team here at Salt High School. You know what I'm saying? With the 14th pick and the football coach's mock draft, team buttoned up selects Brian Thomas Jr., wide receiver, LSU. Next receiver taken is Brian Thomas Jr. out of LSU. Brian Thomas had a great season, had Jaden Daniels thrown to him, the Heisman winner. Uh, him and Malik Neighbors won some awards. You compare Brian Thomas and Malik Neighbors to the dynamic duos that LSU has had in the past with Jarvis Landry and Odell Beckham, Dust Jefferson and Jamar Chase, and Malik Neighbors and Brian Thomas were the next best things to happen to LSU. He lasted until pick 12. You picked Jaden Hicks before Brian Thomas Jr. Coaches, you just – the vision is, you know, within, team off the cuff. You, and, and not you everybody's going to understand it, but yeah, that's how we want and it. That right? vision ain't 2020, that's for sure. With the 15th pick in the football coaches' mock draft, team off the cuff selects Joe Walt, O-line, Notre Dame. Next old lineman taken by off the cuff. It's Joe Alt out of Notre Dame, six foot nine, three hundred twenty-one pounds, ran a five oh five forty. So another quick offensive lineman, uh, best offensive lineman in the country, onto off the cuff's team. Hey, great pick, yeah, great pick. Hey, now, Thank now, you. hey, we are proud of y'all. I will, I will preface it by saying, you know, so now, Notre Dame. Don't worry about those overrated, guys. but they haven't picked one of these yet. So we about to right now, Coach Rock. 
With the 16th pick in the football coach's mock draft, team buttoned up selects Nate Wiggins. Cornerback, Clemson. 16th overall pick in the draft, buttoned up, takes Nate Wiggins, a cornerback out of Clemson. Wiggins is ranked fourth in the cornerback prospect position. In front of him is Kenyon Mitchell, Terron Arnold, and Cooper DeGene out of Iowa. Nate Wiggins taken out of Clemson, uh, 6'1", 173 pounds, ran a 4'2", 840, and tore his hamstring while he was running the 40-yard dash. So, just a baller in Nate Wiggins that team buttoned up is getting. So, he ran a 4'2", 840, and... <laughs> Anybody know what he did? Yeah, it was, it was close to it. Ran a 4-2-8, pulled his hamstring while running the 40, ran a 4 2 eight. So while we have to cover, you know, they say Malik Neighbors, like he is a good player, I'm not going to disagree, but now we have someone to play him man-wise if we want. Yeah, well, coach, you know. By the way, was recruited by Brett Venables. An amazing We're looking at run blocking as a receiver. As well, like here at the team off the cuff, we ain't just looking at receiving yards and touchdowns. You know, they're done here. They're done here. Yeah, they're done here. I'm thinking this is the only contested position group left. Okay, well then let's do it. Contested position group. Yeah, you hear that like from that. team off the cuff? Yeah. Coach Dwight, I like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like that. Coach, we're adapting over here. And I just know that. He's also an old miss. <laughs> okay. And he made it. Yeah, I just knew that they were good I know that he was at, at defense. The guy mm -hmm. I, know, I know that's where y'all going. I know that's where y'all going. Coach, Coach, you never know what team off the call. Okay? Is, I like this, especially with size. Oh, Coach, a team off the call? Did you? Yeah. You so heard what we are offensively. So why would that not transfer to defense? Off the rails. Yeah. yeah. Well, hey. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. With the 17th pick in the football coaches mock draft, team off the cuff selects TJ Tampa, cornerback, Iowa State. TJ Tampa out of Iowa State, six foot one, 189 pounds, ran a 4.4540 with 44 tackles on two interceptions. So still on the board, Cooper DeGene, a cornerback out of Iowa. Uh, he's listed as number one top prospect. Uh, at the cornerback position out of Iowa, but they go with TJ Tampa out of Iowa State. Come on, baby. <laughs> y'all didn't do that. Like, y'all. Coach. Have y'all. I'm just Coach, stay within the button up I... team. The, what is I it? I think y'all don't really. The good. turtlenecks, or what are they? What are they? Who? The cycle? No, y'all. Y'all team. Buttoned up. Oh, buttoned up. Yeah, see? Yeah. Turtle With the 18th pick of the football coaches mock draft, team buttoned up selects Jonathan Brooks, running back, Texas. Next pick for team buttoned up, it's Jonathan Brooks, a running back out of Texas. Texas made the playoffs uh, this season. He had 187 carries for 1.1K yards, averaged 6 yards a carry, scored 10 touchdowns. Had 25 receptions for 286 yards and had one receiving touchdown. So the running back position is done for both teams after Jonathan Brook has been picked. We have the number one running back, number one quarterback, number one though. receiver, number one tight end, oh, number one D lineman, the, two the freaking lineman. yards, man. I can tell you, there's a reason. They picked their number three running back. back. He's going to be a flat like, round pick. And he's, he's going to be a good I, From what I know, though. I mean, if you don't feel good about it, I don't know if he got hurt or, or, or what, but there's a reason he's on it. With the 19th pick in the football coaches mock draft, team off the cuff selects Ladd McConkey, wide receiver, UGA. So the last receiver taken for off the cuff, it's Ladd McConkey out of Georgia, 5'11", 187 pounds. He has good flexibility and great change of direction. He has above average concentration when it comes to working in traffic. He's, he's a skinny and small receiver and he struggles to fight through contact. You know, he was also hurt, so uh, so some lingering injuries, possibly. You know, only two reception touchdowns this season on 478 reception yards because he was hurt, but, you know, just a baller in Lad McConkey, and uh, he's, he's a ball player. Coach Dar said, what about the, the guy from Washington? And I said, you know, Coach Garinger said, that's who we need to pick, absolutely not. <laughs> 
It's passing that buck, Coach. You see him? Oh, I'll take full responsibility. Yeah. Here comes here. Wait, here comes the history lesson on the guy. Okay. Okay. You want to <laughs> no, coach. No, coach. Yeah. With the twentieth pick and the football goes in mock draft, team buttoned up selects Quinion Mitchell, cornerback, Toledo. Next cornerback taken by Team Button Up. It's Quinion Mitchell, a cornerback out of Toledo. Quinion Mitchell ran a 4-340 at 6 foot 195 pounds. Just a solid athlete in Quinion Mitchell, so cornerback is done for Team Buttoned Up. So we'll take the best, most competitive guy in that position, the guy that didn't get pinched at Alabama. With the 21st pick and the football coach's mock draft, Team Off the Cuff selects so Darius Robinson. D-line, Missouri. First. D lineman taken by off the cuff. It's Darius Robinson at the SEC, Missouri. Uh, six foot five, two hundred ninety-six pounds. He ran a four nine five forty on forty-three tackles and eight and a half sacks. So on the list that we have, it goes Latu Latu and then Darius Robinson in total amount of tackles. So Darius Robinson second on the list for top prospects leading in tackles. Who is that? Missouri D tackle. Don't worry, don't worry about who that is, so coach. Don't worry about who that is. Y'all picked yeah. a, a yeah. four-ten. Y'all just, hey, yeah, need him, coach. With a 22nd pick and football coach's mock draft, team buttoned up, selects Tyler Newbin. Safety, Minnesota. Next pick for team buttoned up, it's Tyler Newbin, a six foot one, 199 pound safety. He's he's not the fastest. He ran a 4640, but he is the number one safety prospect in the draft. Now, so safety is done for team buttoned up after Tyler Newbin is picked. Moving on, team off the cuff is now on the clock. I'm Coach Dwyer. Coach, Chop Robinson get hurt? No. Oh, I thought you were gonna. He's I, thought just you were gonna I thought you were gonna do something right there, Coach. Like I like Chop. Honestly. Uh-uh. That means we can't pick Chop. Oh, uh, he's playing right there. Every pick because you have no idea. <laughs> Coach, uh, we got, I'm telling y'all, y'all can't see the vision or the plan, but no it's, one. hey, no it's one. there. You know why we can't see y'all? Because we're too busy running past y'all. Yeah, well, hey, you know, you got to run through us, too, which you ain't, you know. Run through who? Jaden Daniels, who's 210? Yeah, Coach, I told you, he's, he's drinking his protein. And, his eggs? Yeah. With the 23rd pick in the football coaches mock draft, team off the cuff selects Byron Murphy, D-line, Texas. Next defensive lineman taken, Byron Murphy out of Texas, 6'1", 308 pounds, had 29 tackles with five sacks. He ran a 4840, so a quick guard in Byron Murphy out of Texas. Good pick here from off the cuff. Off the cuff. That's off the cuff, baby. Yeah. Team turtleneck on the clock. That's pretty crazy. Oh, Coach, oh. wasn't me. They're trying to they trying to throw us off here with this, right? Yeah. With the twenty fourth pick and the football coaches mock draft, team buttoned up selects Jordan Morgan, O line, Arizona. First offensive lineman taking my team buttoned up with Coach Garinger and Coach Black. It's Jordan Morgan, an offensive tackle out of Arizona. Six foot five, 311 pounds. Ran a five flat 40, so he's a fast offensive lineman. Played really well in the Senior Bowl, so good pick here from team buttoned up. Off the cuff, you're now on the clock. No less. That's been the plan this whole time. It's all about the last pick, Coach. With the 25th pick in the football coaches mock draft, team off the cuff selects Peyton Wilson, linebacker, NC State. So the one and only linebacker taken by off the cuff, it's Peyton Wilson out of NC State, six foot four, 233 pounds, ran a 44340, had 138 tackles, as well as six sacks at NC State. Mm -hmm. blow up, mm -hmm. That's off the cuff. That's off the cuff. That's a good pick. No, 138 he's tackles, good. coach. What's that? 138 tackles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, he's a good player. Tell I him, like, Coach Dwyer. I like him a lot. With the 
26 pick of the football coaches mock draft. Team button up selects Drake May. Quarterback, UNC. Next quarterback taken by Team Buttoned Up. It's Drake May out of North Carolina. He's a mobile pocket passer, ranked third uh, in the quarterback prospect rankings behind Caleb Williams and Jaden Daniels. He's ranked third behind them. Michael Penix, JJ McCarthy, Bo Nix, and all those kind of guys. Six foot four, 223 pounds. Solid pick here for Team Buttoned Up. Don't tell me about throwing. He's just not He's drafting Bo Nix. He's just not an off the cuff team type of guy, Coach. Who? Uh, gonna run the Coach, you distracted me right here. We got a we got a game plan right here. With the 27th pick of the football coaches mock draft, team off the cuff selects Ben Sennett, tied in Kansas State. So the one and only tight end taken by off the cuff. It's Ben Sinat out of Kansas State, six foot four, 250 pounds, had 676 reception yards with six reception touchdowns. So tight end is now out of the way for team off the cuff. Come on, baby. Come on. With the 28th and final pick of the football coaches mock draft, team buttoned up, selects Graham Barton, O-line, Duke. Last pick of the draft, it's Graham Barton out of Duke, an offensive tackle, 6'5", 313 pounds. We're on a 4940, so another quick offensive lineman for team buttoned up. And that's going to do it for this year's 2024 SHS Coaches Mock Draft. So that's going to conclude the 2024 NFL Sulphur Coaches Mock Draft. The winner of the SHS Coaches Mock Draft out of team off the cuff or team buttoned up, it's team off the cuff. Coach Trent and Coach Dwyer. Now let me explain why. First of all, Team Buttoned Up, Coach Garinger and Coach Black. Great strategy. With the, their first pick, they took Brock Bowers a tight end because you only got one tight end. And you know, like we said earlier in the draft, tight end, Brock Bowers is the best tight end since Rob yep. Brockowski. Yep. Uh, he's a generational talent at tight end. But... Team off the cuff is going to take the win because Jaden Daniels, quarterback out of LSU, best first overall pick. That's in my opinion. What do you think about this, Cameron? I think it was a good draft. You know, team buttoned up. They, ha they had a good run. But the way they finished, I, I just feel like off the cuff ultimately just pulled ahead. And they off the cuff really had an underlying strategy. You know, they were going to take some of the underdogs in hopes for – the potential gets better. Facts. You know, they Facts. grow to their potential. Facts. You just couldn't see the vision is what is what Coach Trick kept trying to tell us. And then you take a look at the stats and the numbers and all that, you can see the vision. You can see yeah. the vision. But overall, Cameron, I had a blast doing this draft. I don't know about you. It's been a, it's been a great time. So that's going to do it here, folks. Thanks so much. Make sure to subscribe to CPSB TV and stay up to date for all your... SWLA, Calcasieu Parish Sports.